Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking. What I'm starting here tonight is one of my cooks here, I was low and slow. Remember toward the beginning of the month or in the last month, I got in the barbecue box, barbecue.com, the barbecue box sign up sheet. Well, here it is, the barbecue box. And this is their intro box, I'm gonna show y'all. That's the one they send everybody when you first sign up. Quick, little brief uh, recap of it. Anyway, this is Myra Mixon's recipe for a uh, pork butt. It includes some of his uh, wood chips. It also has his rub and a sauce in there, okay? Now, what I have done, I've gone ahead and made, started on these instructions here. The first is to prepare a pork injection. Basically, you got four cups of apple juice, a quart of distilled vinegar, five pounds of sugar, and two cups of salt. An injector, and you make that according to the car. Real simple. I made some, put some in this jar here. We're going to use that, okay, to uh, inject the pork butt here in just a minute. So what I'm going to do, let me set this aside, y'all. I'm going to pour some in this cup because I don't want to taint the whole thing of injection. Of course, it's just a little bit of the injection. Uh, pour some right here in this cup that we can use to inject the pork butt with, okay? So, it smells wonderful, and this is going to really give it some flavor. Now, what he says to do is put your pork butt in a pan just like this. I do mine fat cap down, that way it'll kind of hold the juices in and won't fall right at the bottom. Trim it up a little bit, you can do that. I want to spare y'all, just then you don't care much about that. Just take a little bits of fat or whatever's hanging off the top. Now, I'm filling the injector here. And by the way, you get your own injection. You can come with one of these. And he said about every square inch or so, you're going to inject the pork butt. Okay? You're just going to blow it up with as much injection as you can hold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just inject this pork butt. Keep on going. And this is going to pack it with tons of flavor, y'all. Tons of good, good flavor. So I'm going to keep on going. Like I said, every you know, square inch or so, I'm going to inject some. Or, you know, about a half an injection thing. Right now I'm injecting almost a whole one just because it's a thick part. But we're going to just blow this up with this injection. But look, y'all, once you've injected it, by as much of the uh, injection as a whole, they said to cover it and put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. What I'm going to do before I do that, I'm going to put some of Myra Mixon's original meat rub on here and then cover it, all right? So we'll just lightly sprinkle that on here. Well, Charles, so I'm going to cover this in foil and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours, or I actually might have to let it sit overnight and uh, we'll get cooking on this thing, y'all. Hey, y'all. We're the next step on the barbecue box uh, pork butt welcome box here. I've got it out of the fridge where it was sitting, where all the injections kind of padded down a little bit. We're going to take this Meyer mixing this original meat rub here and we're going to just rub it down y'all I'm going to do the fat kept side first because I'm going to have that facing down actually in a minute I'm going to show you so just kind of rub that down pad on there good going to get plenty of good rub on here so you get the uh, point and everything on the point the edges you know what I'm talking about and uh, we'll make sure everything gets, gets a spot on here and this is going to put a nice, help us develop a nice bark, according to Myron. So, uh, you know, he's the famous man at barbecue, so we're going to give it a try, y'all. So we're going to put this here, put this rub all down here on the sides and everything. Now, flip it over, have the meat side up like this. Now I'm going to put this, you want to make sure you're getting all the cracks and crevices and everywhere on here. Because, uh, I mean, that's, that's where the good stuff is. This is going to develop our just awesome, awesome bark here tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to let that just uh, rope down just about like that. Okay. And uh, we'll let that chill out in the fridge for a couple hours. Morning, y'all. All right, we're out here at the Yoder YS640. I got loaded up with uh, the Smoke Ring Barbecue Cherry Pellets. We're about to put the uh, barbecue box dot com recipe pork butt right on here guys and girls let me show you what we're gonna do open up a pit I've got some of them wood chips back there in the back I'll show you what we'll do with those in a moment make sure you can see what's going on here 
We're going to set this bad boy right down here. Okay, just like that. Uh, got the fat cap down. That's the way you want it. All right, now, those wood chips there. Got those in this little thing. I'm going to take my torch. Give us a little bit of extra smoke. Okay, and you know, we'll just kind of use that um, to help out. That's gonna be real good, y'all. We're gonna shut her down, let her go for a couple hours, and check the color. That's gonna be good. All right, y'all, we've been cooking here for an hour now. I just want to check it and see what she looks like here. Oh, yeah, looking good. Uh, bark starting to set up just a little bit. I'm going to hit the torch on those wood chips just some more. So that's good. That's real good. All right, y'all, it's been in the cooker for about three hours now. And I'll tell you what, this recipe, uh, according to Myram, most winless man in barbecue uh, says that you can cook a pork butt in as little as four hours. Crazy, because everybody's telling me, oh, it's 18. Well, you know me, I've always practiced a long time, at least, you know, eight, 12 hours. But we're going to see how this works. We're going to try this recipe. Remember, the barbecuebots.com. Also, we're going to be trying out the new Inkbird thermometer here. I've got the Inkbird IBT uh, 2X Barbecue Go. It's something we'll try out today. So, anyway, y'all. Let's go down here and let's look at my arm's recipe and try to figure out how we can get uh, some pork butt a lot quicker than normal and some really good stuff. Basically what I've got is an aluminum pan here and I put some folded up pieces of aluminum in here to use as risers. Uh, he used a small cookie uh, cooling rack, which I would use if I was using a bigger pan, but the pork butt's not that big. I hate to waste a big pan and all that space and stuff, so I just made my own little aluminum risers. Now. He said, get you some good apple juice. Don't skimp. And uh, you want to put you about a quarter inch or so, half inch apple juice in there, depending on how big your risers are. That's what we're going to do first off. All right. Put some apple juice down there in the bottom. This is what's going to create some steam. Also going to put up some wonderful flavor into that barbecue, y'all. So uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll put the apple juice into, um, into what we're doing here. So now I'm gonna get gloved up here. Oh, this is this is exciting because I've never. It's funny. I had a friend comment, you know, oh man, it's gonna be 18 more hours or something. Just joking, but I mean, dude, on these um these cooks, I mean, the pork butt usually takes a long time. So you know, we'll see. Uh, check, see how it looks now. Oh yeah, look at the beautiful mahogany color to it. He said that's you know that's what you want to see. He said, uh, go ahead, I've never wrapped one this soon, but uh, I'm gonna get a little shot of it, a little photo. That's so pretty right there. And uh, we're gonna put it off right here into, uh, into this little basket. So let's put it right there on top of those risers. And that one will wanna fall over. Make sure I kinda bend it where you don't want this thing in the water for sure, okay? So we got that there set up. Hopefully I wasn't in the way. Y'all can still see. And uh, I'm going to put a temperature probe over here in this side. We're we'll getting the bone, which I'm going to go right in there. I'm going to do the money muscle kind of. And then the very center of that port butt, okay? Right down in there. Now I am going to cover this in full, tightly. All right. Now I'll tell you what I may do just to be on the safe side so this bad boy don't fall over. I may put a couple little, get that pan, little full balls down in here just to kind of stabilize everything. Again, the last thing I want is this thing to douse down, just be boiling in the juice. So we'll put that down there. Hopefully that'll help us stabilize this pork butt. Now, get some ice. And uh, we're going to we're going to put it all over the pork butt. And seal it in. All right, 
make a good seal on this package here. Uh, that's what's going to hold our good steam in and everything else. All right. Go along here. You don't want to make sure you don't have any tears in the floor or anything like that. Like I said, you want to lock that steam, that, all that goodness in there, okay? That's what we're doing. Right there, okay? Got it locked in. Everything locked around. Get the tension around the corners. Everything like that. This basically takes the place of a rack. Now, let's set this bad boy right here. All right, we're gonna run the probe wire through my little out over here. Rip road. That one won't run through the hole. Up. Just have to run under the lid. That'll be fine. It won't kill us. So uh, let's go ahead and shut this on down, y'all, and we'll let it cook. Okay. I'll be something else. Can't wait to see it. All right, y'all, it's been about six and a half hours since we started this port, but it now it's hit internal temperature of 202. I've got some of this uh, hog sauce uh, that came in the box, barbecuebox.com box, and we're going to put it uh, in a little side cup over here. Let me show y'all what we're going to do. I'm going to put some of it over here. Hopefully y'all can see that, and we're going to rub it on I've actually heated some of it up. We're going to rub it on the pork butt once we get it out of there. I got me some uh, gloves on here, rubber gloves with some liners. I got liners, hopefully they work pretty good. So let's go ahead and open this up. Take the pork butt out of, uh, out of the tin foil here. Open that up right there. You see it's still sitting on top of everything. That's good like we want it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and set it down here on this tray. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay. You gotta be careful with it. It's fall apart. Because it is tender as can be, y'all. I'll tell you. Plenty of juice, everything else. Let me get this cord out of the way. All that. And then I'm also going to get the uh, juice, apple juice, all that good stuff. I'll put that over here on the side. We'll let that get later. And we'll put the pork butt right up here. Okay. And as you can see, it's got a nice little, I'm in mean, sandals out here tripping all over the place. We'll take this, uh, this uh, hog sauce and we'll just baste them down with that. And them say leave it on here for about 20 more minutes and let that hog sauce just uh, put a little glaze on there, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We'll just uh, put a good little basting on there. Like I said, just want to make sure you get good coverage on all the meat. So uh, that's going to be pretty right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and do that and let it go probably about 10 or 20 minutes or so just let it get a good glaze okay okay y'all after it's been on the cooker about 10 or 15 minutes or so yes sir that sauce is adhered to everything we'll go ahead and pull it off and let it rest just a little bit all right y'all so we got the uh barbecuebox.com uh, recipe pork butt down here let me show y'all and I, you know, it cooked, it didn't, it cooked in uh, about eight hours. It's okay, you know, I hear that. Let's look down here and see what we got. I'm gonna pull it apart here, as soon as I can get the camera, everything. Let's see how it cooked. All right, first off, let me get this grate off of here. If I can pick it up without falling apart, y'all. I mean, this thing's super tender. Well, there's a clump of it right there. Let that grate apart. Let's pull the bone. Look at that. Oh yeah, right there. And look, it just it just pulls apart. Perfect. 
what you're wanting for a pork butt. And right there, only in eight hours, you know, almost like a you know 12, 16 hour pork butt. And it's just pulling apart perfectly. Got a good bark on it, everything else. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna taste it, y'all, with a little bit of this up. Uh, with a little bit of this up, uh, the bark on there. Oh yes, sir. That's what I'm gonna taste. See how this barbecue box recipe did for us with Meyer mixing with his uh, sauce and rub and everything like that. They say the winningest man in barbecue. Let's see how it really tastes at home when we try to uh, replicate it. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's some kind of fine. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, look at this. Look at that bark on there. It, it makes some great bark. I'm going to try it. Seriously, good, great recipes. I didn't know about cooking one this fast. Uh, Barbecuebox.com. Also, uh, check out that new thermometer. I'll put that in the description box. It ain't bare, but... Oh, yeah. You know, that's some good tasting stuff, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, please have a good one. Uh, like my videos, sub my channel. God bless y'all. And again, y'all check out this uh, wonderful barbecue box recipes.